again, folks. This is Rick from the Boondocking Bears, and this is about a tragic incident in the long history of Barnum & Bailey Circus that happened right here in the sleepy town of St. Thomas, Ontario. Well, folks, there aren't a lot of places in Ontario you can pull over to the side of the road and see a giant elephant, but this is one. So I think most folks know that Jumbo the Elephant has been the trademark of Barnum & Bailey Circus almost since they got him back in 1881. Despite being beloved by the local children and its star attraction, amid a furious outcry by the public, the London Zoo in England sold Jumbo to the Barnum & Bailey Circus. Now the circus immediately took him to America and began touring the continent to sold out shows. Jumbo was universally loved everywhere he went, and of course Barnum and Bailey made a vast fortune off his popularity. So in the summer of 1885, the circus was en route to another gig and traveling by train. They stopped here in St. Thomas, Ontario to reorganize the train in these marshalling yards. With plenty of time to spare, it was decided to let Jumbo out to get some sunshine and exercise. And that is when unfortunate tragedy struck. Disembarking, Jumbo stumbled on the rail tracks, falling and impaling himself on his own tusk, killing himself instantly. On the centennial of poor Jumbo's demise, the town of St. Thomas built and dedicated this full-size shrine to the animal so universally loved around the globe. It's a reminder of the town's history, often good, sometimes tragic, but always history in plain sight. Thanks for watching. As soon as the camera goes on, this little ham bone has to jump into my arms to be the star of the video. Never fails. <laughs>